Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to enter a few more different types of survey questions into SPSS and in this second video I'll be going over the multiple answers options and or if a question has a specify option. Questions 5 till 7 will be used, uh, which is uh, which type of holiday do you prefer? And notice now the please specify option in here. Question 6 is which TV series, series do you watch? With multiple answers, which makes it completely different than the ones we've discussed so far. And to finish off, we'll do a combination of both, where multiple answers are again allowed, but now also again with a specify option. Let's start with the first one. Which type of holiday do you prefer with a specify option? I'll continue from the previous video with my uh, file. So I'll go back to the variable view and the question was the holiday preference. So um, let's not do the full question but just a description. Uh, preferred type of holiday. And at the name uh, that's a preference. I'm going to be entering numbers and uh, will therefore not need any decimals. The width is therefore also not important because it's set to numeric. And as possible values we have, let's see, summer, winter and other. We'll leave the please specify for now. So we'll only uh, do summer, winter and other at the values. One was summer, two was uh, winter, and three was other. Click on OK. My missing value will still be 999, so in case somebody doesn't answer this question, I'll enter 999. Click on OK. The column is how wide the column will be, not so much of interest. The alignment, also not much of interest and this is a nominal variable. Row is only used in specific options within SPSS um, to make it easier in those and we'll simply leave it at input. Now what about, about that specify option? Well often many people might actually tick the other option and not specify anything so we've catered for those because those are in the same line as summer, winter and other. If somebody enters something here, that's actually text. So we need an additional variable to actually enter those given specifications. So let's call it pref spec, which will be text. So I'll need to change the type to, let's say, string, because it's text. And let's use 30, which should be enough for a while. If we need more later on, we're going to increase it afterwards. Notice that the width therefore changes to 30, and this is a preferred type, type specified. I don't need any uh, values in here because I have no clue what people might actually say, and I can use 999 for the missing value or any other value you like. Leave everything else as is. In the data view, if somebody, for example, who is a male, 38, his name is Peter, has a preference for, let's say, um, a other type, but didn't answer actually what type, then this becomes 999. Somebody who ticked other and did specify something, for example, autumn, we can simply enter it now in there. Okay, this takes care of a question with the specify option. What about the question with multiple answers, the TV series? In this case, we would be able to enter Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Teletubbies, Coupling, Coupling and South Park under the values, but not all the possible combinations. So instead of seeing this as one question, we'll see this as one, two, three, four, five different questions. Do you watch Game of Thrones, yes or no? Do you watch The Walking Dead, yes or no? Do you watch Teletubbies, yes or no? Do you watch Coupling, yes or no? Do you watch South Park, yes or no? That will provide us with the exact same information as this multiple answers allowed question. So, I'll go back to my uh, SPSS file, go to the variable view, 
and let's call it TV and the first one was Game of Thrones the second option was let's see The Walking Dead so TV Walking Dead the third one was Teletubbies and the third one was Coupling TV Cool and uh, the last one was South Park TV South Park at the label uh, watches Game of Thrones I can actually copy paste and then adjust it accordingly to uh, Walking Dead watches Teletubbies watches coupling and watches South Park now I'll be using 0 for not ticked and 1 for ticked so I won't be needing any decimals and also with the decimals you can copy and paste because I'll be using numbers 0 for no uh, 1 for yes I'll leave it at numeric and therefore the width is also not important the values, as mentioned, 0 for a no, 1 for a yes, click on OK, and luckily you can also right click, copy and paste these for all the other ones. The missing value will be 999, so copy and paste. Columns, leave it at 8, leave the alignments as is. The measurement level is a nominal, so copy, select, paste and in, uh, the role remains at input. I can now enter, for example, that Peter actually watches Game of Thrones, uh, doesn't watch Game of Thrones, uh, watches The Walking Dead, watches Teletubbies, watches uh, Coupling, and watches South Park. Uh, the next one, for example, I can also enter numbers, 0, 0, 0, watches Coupling and South Park only. Um, this person didn't answer the question, so oh, that's 99. That's not good. 999, etc., etc. Now for the last one, it even becomes trickier because here we have multiple answers and the specify option. So first, I'll uh, simply ignore the please specify option, but leave the other in. So I'll need one two, three, four variables for the airline preferences. So, and the first one was KLM. So, air and then KLM. The second one was Transavia. So, air, trans. Then we had delta, air, delta, and air, other preferred airline airline KLM and I can actually copy paste this bit paste 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 and Transavia and this was uh, Delta and this was other again no decimals are needed because it goes similar as the one above it's all a zero uh, for no and one for yes and the missing value is all 999 it's all nominal uh, paste and that leaves us with the specified option which because it's text needs to be a variable in itself so air specific specific and that's going to be text with let's say again 30 characters which you can increase or decrease later preferred airline, airline specified no values missing value we can't copy paste from numeric ones but you can copy paste from other string ones left nominal seems to be okay so someone who goes by let's say KLM yes uh, doesn't like uh, Transavia doesn't like uh, Delta 
uh, does have another, but didn't specify it. 999. Somebody else? No, 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 yes, and then specified with uh, Chinese airlines, for example. And this is how you enter these type of questions. Apologies for the long video, but I hope it was worth it.